The CV animation is nothing more than 2D, 3D, and hue rotation animations. In this video, we take a look at how to clone it in SwiftUI and VisionOS by using assets from the Figma community. So let's get started. I will first go to the Figma community. Let's search for Siri. There are different kinds of Siri assets here, but the one that I prefer is this one. So here we have the option to open in Figma. I have already opened it in the next tab. By going to the layer list, I will click this icon to expand the layer list. If I hover around, you can see we have all these layers. Let's zoom in more. I can also command click to select the individual layers. So by looking at the layer order in the layer list, we will repeat the same thing using stacks in SwiftUI. You can see the layers are on top of one another. In SwiftUI, we can use this stack to achieve that. I have already created a Vision OS project for this. So let's go to Xcode and start creating the animation. In this project, I have already used this stack to arrange all the layers and place them as an attachment to the window using ornament. So you can see from the body computer property, we have a navigation stack consisting of a text. And the text has this two bar. By double clicking the ellipsis, we have all the layers. You can see here the parent container is a Z stack and containing all the individual layers. I arranged all the layers in the same way we have in the Figma document, but they don't have to be in the same order like this one. What is important is to show you how to build the animation using Swift UI. To create the animation, we need a state. So let's define one here and call it it's rotating. Then we set the initial state to false. Next, we should specify how we want the animation to be triggered. The animation will be triggered automatically when all the views appear. So let's add the onAppear modifier to one of the layers, that is one of the images here. Then we can use with animation and specify the easing we want to use for all the animations. So this image view is the one on top of all the other views. So let's add the onAppear modifier here. To have more room, I will press Option Command and Enter to get rid of the preview. In the on appear modifier, we will add the easing type. So here we are using with animation. Then we specify the easing type as easing out with a duration of 12. We repeat the animation forever. Then we toggle the state variable we just defined for the animation. We can now go ahead and animate all the individual images by specifying the properties we want to animate. As I said before, for this animation, we will animate three properties, 2D rotation, 3D rotation, and also hue rotation. Some of the images will have only two animations, and some we add all the animations, 2D, 3D, and hue rotation. Over here, you can see we have these two images. These are behind all the other images. So these two images will not have any animation. Let's go back to the Figma document and see what they are. The shadow is the one behind all the other images. We can toggle it from the layer list. Then we have the icon BG. I will toggle that as well. So these are the two layers we will not animate. Let's go back to Xcode. For the next image, blue right, let's add the following properties. For this, we want to animate 2D rotation. We have hue rotation and 3D rotation as well. We set the angle of rotation to 75. Then we animate only the Z coordinate. If I press Option, Command and Enter to bring back the preview, you can see we have 2D rotation for only one of the images. Let's add the remaining ones. The next one will have a similar animation but with different values. You can see here we are animating the Z coordinate and here we change it to X. So this is repeated for all the other images. I will go ahead and add the others. These two images, for example, don't have the 3D rotation animation. So you can see here, we apply 2D and hue rotation, and this one as well. It has 2D rotation and hue rotation. Let's press Option, Command and Enter to preview it again. So this is how you can clone the Siri animation with SwiftUI. We animated the individual images using 2D, 3D, and hue rotation. You can find the source code on GitHub. You can see I have it as SiriAnimation.Swift. I will add a link to the description of the video. Thanks for watching this tutorial.